What does the Wizard of Oz have to do with an internet dating service or a psychic? Well, it's all about the love and the sex in America, which means we also get romantic with a Cadillac, Las Vegas, Niagara Falls, the Boy Scout Handbook, a sex museum, and a thoroughly lovable ending. First up, we already heard from a man without a head, right? How unlucky can you get? How about this guy? No heart. I'd be tender, I'd be gentle, and awful sentimental regarding love and art. I'd be friends with the sparrows and the boy who shoots the arrows if I only had a heart. Well, if it's a heart you're after, I've got the perfect place to visit. Revere, Massachusetts, headquarters of the Necco Candy Company and home of the famous Conversation Hearts. This is not working. <laughs> Easy, I know it's exciting. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is where they keep the Oompa Loompas. That's Ooh. fresh candy. All right, so there it is. But that's, that's not the heart. Those are the Necro Wafers. But I don't like these as much. They're the same ingredients. Maybe it was a different flavor. It's identical ingredients. Maybe a different flavor. But the heart ones I like. Oh now I feel like a kid in the yeah. room. Oh my god. That's the money shot right yeah. there. That's what I wanted. What are we talking? How many millions of candy hearts behind us? We're not talking millions, we're talking billions. We make eight billion candy hearts every year. Actually, we can say we're a company with heart. Did you ever get letters about someone asked someone to marry him? With oh, you must. You get tons of letters from gentlemen who want to propose and put the candy heart in with the ring that says marry. Wait, can we just see that reaction again? Because it's so cute. OK, let's say you do get a proposal. Where in America should you go? Niagara Falls is the traditional love capital of the country. But Niagara Falls has, has a draw worldwide. We have all kinds of people coming around their honeymoons. And then also, they'll come back for their anniversaries, which is kind of nice. There is a fair amount of kissing on deck sometimes, but we do notice. <laughs> Actually, maybe Niagara Falls is more of a honeymoon kind of thing. So I thought I'd escort Barr to the hot locale for actual weddings, and I thought we should do it in retro style, which means a red Cadillac Coupe de Ville convertible. This is the horniest place in America. I'm sure it is, look at you. I don't think people come to Las Vegas for love. You're right. This is the quickie wedding capital of America. You know what a quickie wedding is? Quick wedding? If you just meet somebody and yes. you somehow get the notion you want to marry them, you don't get any better than coming here, 50 bucks for a license, and 90 minutes later. Doesn't sound very romantic. Romance is not thinking about the past and not thinking about the future. Romance is thinking about the right now. Kind of like, hey, do you want to get married? Okay. Wait, okay? As in, yes? Well, we were in the right place. And a lot of other couples were in that very same place. We figured if we were going to go somewhere and, and get married, you know, kind of last minute, we might as well come to Vegas. Folks walk in the door and get married within 15 minutes of that visit. It's the best place to get married anywhere. I love you. I can't explain how much love you get to experience every day. It oozes all over everybody. What we're all about is doing something different. Anything from a Camelot, rock and roll, Egyptian, gothic, gangster, and a disco wedding. Hey, Hi. welcome to Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> we did this last minute. About two days ago, we were like, want to get married? They do drive through drive through weddings? We did 170 weddings in one day. 2,000 weddings. I have no idea. It's quite a few. <laughs> Does it matter that we've only known each other for less than two weeks? Oh, my record is an hour and a half. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's yeah. go do it, do it. Man, I'm so nervous, but it's fun. Reeves and Barr, you have chosen this day to fulfill a promise to travel together on the same path, joined in marriage. Do travel. Yes. As you look at that ring, you see it's made out of a special metal. Please take this ring, place it on your gorgeous bride's left hand. King Dynamite. Did you get this at the pawn shop? No. <laughs> oh, just check. First of all, it's not a never-ending circle, OK? It's got the adjustable band on it. But that's because I didn't know your size. Oh, that's cute. Huh? That's okay, a smile. I agree. With this ring. Pledge my love and devotion I have for you. By the laws of the state of Nevada, I now pronounce you 
husband and wife, kiss your bride. Sir, you may kiss your lovely bride. And now, by the authority. Don't ah. this, this, is, this is where we this is where we cut it off? Yeah. <laughs> so we're not married yet. You're not married yet. Okay. Not until you say that sentence. So don't do it, please. Can I keep the ring? Absolutely. Okay. Fair enough. Thanks, Pastor. Thank Jones. you very it. much. You two dance each other down that disco aisle. So what we did in Las Vegas is called tying the knot. Uh-uh. Almost tying the knot. Okay, we almost tied the knot, which mm -hmm. brings me to two books I wanted to show you. The first one is the Handbook of the Boy Scouts of America. Why? Because lots of instructions on how to tie knots. Oh, because they have all these weird knots and different... I don't different... know if they're weird, but they have the knot. Now at the back, instructions on how to become an Eagle Scout. That's the top rank in Boy Scouts. That's like the head knot tier becomes an Eagle Scout. Jimmy Stewart was an Eagle Scout. Neil Armstrong, Steven Spielberg was an Eagle Scout. And and Alfred Kinsey, the author of the second book. Most Americans know Alfred Kinsey as the man who literally wrote the book on American sexuality. What they may not know is that before he was a sexologist, he was an entomologist. He was into insects. Yeah. He hand cataloged hundreds of thousands of tiny little wasps, and they are all in cabinets here at the Museum of Natural History in New York. This sounds very interesting, but please don't tell me we're going to look at that. I, now. I, I wanted to, and I knew that you would not, so I'm going to take you to a much more provocative museum. Exciting. It, it will be. Now, here's something a little bit exciting. Getting a cab in New York City can be a total pain, right? Not when you're with Barr. See? Hey, look, that is the Empire State Building. Wow, uh, are we gonna go up there? You'll see, it's a surprise. And this is where I'm taking you. Oh. You'll be fine. I know I will. When people come to the Museum of Sex, they're not quite sure what they're getting involved with. You can learn about sex. Sex has a history. Then that's when it's really fascinating. This is right at the beginning of the electric age. The vibrator was one of the top five household items ever electrified. Really? Yes. People believe that uh, you, know, you could solve certain female afflictions by giving someone an orgasm. You know, women weren't thought to have orgasms, so... Wait, women have orgasms? Some, some women have I orgasms, so... <laughs> I'm sure you don't know. I do all right, thanks. Some of my favorite objects are in the sex toy section. If you press the back of this rubber ducky, it will vibrate. Why do you need anything more? We have materials and objects that are not normally associated with sex toys. What is that? You have the Oh My Bod, it attaches to your iPod. It is a sex toy that responds to the vibrations of the music. I'm guessing, I haven't even used it, but I'm guessing Prince kicks ass over, say, Tchaikovsky. Do you know what the motto of the Boy Scouts of America is? No. Just be prepared. Oh. Be prepared. Yeah, it's a gift. It's a present. Thank you. You want to? You have one. I gave you two. I got mine. I got some. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm, I got, I'm OK. Yeah. Thanks. No problem. Be prepared should be the modern daters motto as well, because in today's romantic landscape, you can never tell what might happen next. I mean, look at me and Barr. We've already had an up-close look at a guy with no heart, a factory with a lot of hearts, the honeymoon capital of America, a quickie wedding chapel, and a kinky museum. Who could have predicted that? But even if you could know the future, of your love life, for example, would you want to? You get a good feeling or a bad feeling? I get a good feeling. Okay. I'm also 100% sure that you haven't met your soulmate yet. Really? Do you see if, if the guy I'm going to be with, his name is Reeves? <laughs> um, actually, initials are not coming up. Well, are you going to fall in love? She didn't really say. OK, check this out. While you were doing that, I took the liberty of creating an online dating profile for you. I didn't use your real name. I called you Barbie 101. Oh, my god. I did use your real photo, which I think is very flattering. So under profile, all I put was enjoys long walks on the beach, which is like the most banal thing you could possibly put. But it doesn't matter. You're a knockout. You'll get plenty of responses. Okay. For what you're looking for, I put must be Eagle Scout non-negotiable. That was fast. There's your boy. Yes or no? No. That is not an Eagle Scout. Oh, no. Why not? Oh, my god. That's just a no. bad picture. Well, this is the last guy. Ooh, nasty. OK, so I couldn't exactly nab an Eagle Scout for Bar, but I wanted her to have that long walk on the beach. This was the first public beach in the United States. But that's not the only reason I brought you to Revere. You already asked me to marry you, so I guess that's not the other reason either. Nope. OK, so right here, 
where it's just streets now, used to be the boyhood home of Jack Haley. Do you know who Jack Haley is? No, is that no, bad? No, no, nobody knows who Jack Haley is. Do you recognize him now? No, no he looks like a classic dude. He's though. a classy dude. Jack Haley was... The Tin Man. The Tin Man. This is where he grew up. This is where he had his first jobs. This is where he used to work as a carnival guy pulling cons on unsuspecting tourists. How come everything with you is connected to the other? That's the job. We started off with the Tin Man, and we've sort of come full circle now that we're back at the Tin Man, but I have another surprise. Oh, crap. Oh! We're only going a couple blocks. OK, it's right up here, right up here. Ah! Right, easy. Right there, oh, right there. Oh, that's where we were. That's what I'm talking about. The guy who plays the man who needs a heart grew up like half a mile from where they make eight billion of them every year. Which obviously I think is very cool. Should have gotten those as a wedding gift. Oh, I totally did. I have a, I have a heart for you. It says, you go girl. I got girl. it in my other suit, in our wedding suit. I'm excited. Seriously. I'm going to go now. It's pink. You'll like it. It's sweet. Oh. Bye. What exactly does American design mean anyway? Sleek modern architecture or the keyboard of a vintage typewriter? Choose for yourself when ironic iconic America returns.